December 1992, on a cold, chilling stormy night, the wind howled like a mournful cry, and the rain lashed against the window panes, as if trying to break through the barrier between the outside world and my home. The thunder roared in the distance, echoing the turmoil in my heart, for my daughter, Lily, had gone missing without a trace several months ago, as I sat by the dimly lit fireplace, my thoughts were consumed with grief and regret. Each flash of lightning illuminated the photographs of Lily on the mantle, reminding me of the happiness that had once filled my life. I had searched tirelessly for her, but all leads seemed to lead to dead ends, leaving me with only unanswered questions and a sense of helplessness. Just as I was lost in the depths of my sorrow, there came a knock at the door. My heart skipped a beat, and hope and dread warred within me as I rushed to open it. Standing there, drenched and shivering, was Lily. Her once bright eyes were now hauntingly hollow, and her demeanor seemed distant and unrecognizable. Dad, she whispered, her voice barely audible over the storm's fury. Tears welled up in my eyes as I pulled her inside, embracing her tightly. Lily. Oh, my sweet Lily, where have you been? Are you okay? Lily's response sent shivers down my spine. In a voice that seemed to come from the darkest depths of despair, she began to recount the horrors she had endured during her time apart from me. I was lost, Dad. Lost in a world of shadows and darkness, she said, her voice quivering. There was a place beyond the woods, a realm of nightmares where I was taken. It was a place where the lines between reality and illusion blurred. She described being lured into the heart of the forest by an eerie, otherworldly melody that seemed to beckon her deeper and deeper into the darkness. In that accursed realm, she encountered malevolent beings with twisted, contorted forms, creatures that seemed to feast on fear and despair, they whispered lies and deceit, convincing me that I would never escape, Lily continued, her eyes locked on mine. I fought to hold on to my memories of you, Dad, to the love and warmth of our home. That's what kept me going, even when the shadows threatened to consume me entirely, her story sent chills down my spine, and I could hardly bear the pain of imagining the terror she had endured. They fed on my fear and sorrow, Dad. But I held on to you in my heart, and somehow, I found the strength to resist, Lily said, her voice growing weaker with each word, as she spoke, I couldn't help but feel a newfound sense of guilt. I had never given up searching for her, but had she been reaching out to me all along, struggling to find her way home, Lily's presence seemed to fade with every passing moment, as if the darkness was reclaiming her. I don't know how I escaped, Dad. It's all a blur. But I felt your love pulling me back, guiding me home, in that moment, the storm outside seemed to intensify, matching the turmoil in my heart. I held Lily close, fearing that the shadows might reclaim her at any moment. But the bond between a father and daughter proved stronger than any malevolence that sought to tear us apart. As we clung to each other, I vowed to never let her go again, to protect her from the darkness that had once consumed her. That stormy night marked the beginning of a long journey to heal the wounds left by Lily's harrowing experience. And though the shadows of that night continued to haunt both of us, I knew that together, we would face whatever darkness the world threw our way, united by a love that transcended all realms and nightmares. <laughs>